Got your mum anything for Christmas yet? I have. Hey, good girl. Better have a chance. No, yeah, me neither. Cutting it a bit fine, son. Now school's finished, I thought we could all go into Leeds. Do a bit of last minute Christmas shopping, what do you say? What's the matter? Nothing. It's a good idea, Mum. Hey, here's the worker. Come and sit down, Andy. Get yourself warm. What do you want for breakfast? Some tea left. Nah, no, thanks. Shall I get you some toast? I'll have something later. You're not going back to bed? Andy! What's up with him? Perhaps he's tired. You think he'd be starving after all that? Yeah, well, he was quiet all day yesterday. Nothing's happened at school, is it? Donna's not been picking on him again. No. You would tell us, wouldn't you? She hasn't. I'm going to fix the puncher on my bike. OK. Give us a shout if you need a hand. Do you think it is Donna again? Oh, I don't know. But Andy's not been his usual self at the moment, that's for sure. Well, I suppose it's the end of a long term. He's probably just run down. Hey, got a couple of Christmas trees to pick up later. Can you give us them? What Christmas trees? Not a couple of last-minute orders, you know. You don't grow them. I know where I can get my hands on one or two. Sausage. No, sir. Can I get some grub in your belly, son? Hungry work is lumberjack, eh? Andy. No. Hey, no bad wasting it, love. Hey, you're not going to nick those trees. Please, sir. I don't want you being arrested, not before Christmas. I'm off. All right, Lord. Andy. Are you, uh, are you still mad with me? What do you think? I'll never forgive you, Butch. Never. Yeah, but, man, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to look at you. So I suggest you stay well away from me. All right. What time do you reckon, then, son? What? Giving us hand with them trees. Dad, I'm hoping Seth will put on farm today. Yeah, well, you can get off early, can't you? Season of goodwill and all that. I'm working late. Oh, a Merry Christmas, one and all. Wanted to catch you before you left for the diner. What for? See how you were. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, what are you looking for? Uh, menu cards. I brought them home with me last night. Under the cushion. What are you doing here? I didn't put them here. Well, you found them now. The problem is solved. Oh, yeah. If only. Cathy, you do own the business. You have staff. If you don't feel like going in, you don't have to. But I want to go in. It was so stupid. I'm sorry. I've heard worse. You know, I thought once I saw Dr. Levy, it'd be like taking an aspirin for a headache a few hours later and all have gone away. Doesn't work like that. I just want things to be back to normal. I want to be me again, not someone I don't recognise. There's not too much to ask, is it? Of course not, and it'll happen. But when? Well, maybe you're trying to do too much too soon. Oh, Chris, I'm not going to stop working in the diner. OK, but it would make life easier if you had someone to look after you when you came home from work. And what does that mean? Why don't you stay with me till you're fully recovered? I could take good care of you. No. Sweet of you, and I'm very grateful, but no. No, I couldn't. I need to deal with this by myself. As you wish. So you're going to tell me why you've got a gun? You don't need to know. I do. I want to know. Come on, Dad. Tell me why you've got one. What's to tell? I don't understand why you've got one. To shoot people. What do you think? I'd never do anything to hurt you. It's not even loaded. Come here. Andy, come here. Well, I didn't tell you about the gun, because I didn't want to frighten you. I don't want to shoot anybody. You believe that, don't you? The men that are after me, they are bad people. They want to hurt me. I need that to protect myself, that's all. OK. Don't you worry about it.
worth it, was she, Eric? What? The fair Stella. Was she worth the outlay on the fancy new aftershave? Do you know, envy is a pitiful emotion, Marlon. Uh, is it envy? Yes. A mature relationship between grown-ups. Something you can only dream of. Mm. It went well, then, did it? I made an impression. So when you seen her again? <laughs> Do you think I'm going to tell you that? <laughs> Not that big an impression, then. Uh, all right, we'll see each other again. You know, uh, I reckon you should get that aftershave and wrap it up and give it me for Christmas, Eric. Decided not to make any changes then. What? The well, price list. I thought you were going to have a look at it. Well, I didn't. I'll do it after Christmas. Okay. Kathy. What, Biff? You know this treatment that you're having. What about it? Well, I was just wondering how it was going. If you wanted to talk about it. And why would I want to do that? Well, mates, aren't we? If you don't mind, Biff, I'd rather concentrate on running the diner. Is that okay? What's the matter with that? Nothing. Well, I'm surprised you ordered it then. Is laser on strike? No. Do you want another cup of tea? Look, I best be getting off. Seth will be wondering where I am. Thought you'd be hiding. What? Mr. Clark could walk by any minute. So? So he might want to ask you why you were bunking off school last week. He doesn't know anything about it. Not yet. Who's going to tell him? I might. You'd better not. Get off. I'm warning you, Donald. <laughs> Let go of me. I'll go straight round to his house. Where are you going? Oh, Donald, no, please. Oh, don't tell him, please. What are you so worried about? What were you doing, anyway? Andy? I, I can't tell you. If that's what you want. Oh, no, Donald. I've been working. I've got a job. You've got your paper round. I know, but I needed the extra money. So I've been working in the daytime at home farm with Seth, helping him. Liar. He wouldn't let you bunk off school. OK, I'll tell you. But you've got to promise not to say anything. Well, that depends. Oh, you promise you won't tell anybody. Mr Clark, your mum, your dad, nobody. All right, I promise. I've been seeing my dad. He's come back. Looks like you're going to be busy, Alan. Well, you know what it's like running a business at this time of year. Your own plans get rather neglected. You talk to me. I haven't bought any presents yet, let alone wrapped them. <laughs> That's uh, one night high, please, Alan. Oh. What have you got planned for Christmas, Eric? Oh, well, I haven't finalised my arrangements just yet. Well, we're having a special Christmas lunch at the Woolpack. There'll be a lot of people there. We're going. Yeah, well, no offence, old boy, but I'm expecting a better offer. <clears throat> Something rather more around... Intimate. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll pop in for a few minutes. This spends a bit of good cheer, eh? Who's a lucky fella? No one. I'm supposed to be getting one for Mandy. It's wishful thinking. You'll have a bloke before long. You reckon? Yeah. Best looking girl in Yorkshire, come on. Thank you. What are brothers for? Well, I ain't being on my own at Christmas, of all times. You won't be on your own. Yeah, but there's no one special. I want to buy a present for or go to parties with. Snog under the mistletoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'll have to see what I can do to cheer you up, then. You all right, Lise? I should never have married him. I could see there was something wrong at breakfast. That's why I came round. You know what he said to me the other night? What? That he loved me. He really loved me. He did? He wants to be a proper husband to me. And you know what he means by that? He even told Paddy that we slept together. He never has. Oh, do you think I'd lie about something like that? Of course not, love. And he said it because that's what he wants to do. But he promised me. We all did. We agreed. It was a financial agreement to save the home. No, I didn't mean that. What do you mean? I know how he really feels about you. What? He told me he could keep his feelings under control. That's what he promised me. And you believe that? Well, what could I do? Well, you could have told me for a start. You knew, and you never said anything to me. I can't believe you, Lise.
So where is he? Can't tell you that. He's told me not to say anything. He's hiding. What for? These men are after him. And if they find him, they'll kill him. <laughs> you mean it, don't you? He's hurt. I'm taking care of him. You can't. I have to. Someone's going to find out. They're bound to. No, they won't. I won't let them. Neither will you. You're a part of it now. Mandy? Mandy, where are you going? I'm sorry, look. Look, I should have told you. I would have never have married him if I'd have known. Well, you stayed creepy. I feel horrible. Oh, you don't understand. It wouldn't have made any difference. I didn't find out till after you were wed. He got me right where he wanted me, and then he told you. No, it wasn't like that. He didn't tell me. Well, who was it? I've got a right to know. Ashley. Ashley? He spoke to Butch about marriage. He's a vicar. That's what vicars do. So the whole of Emmerdale know? I mean, am I the last one to find out? No, of course not. Why don't you put an ad in your own courier and do the job properly? Nobody else needs to know. You lied to me, Lise. No! I mean, I know what my uncle Zach's like, but I always thought you looked out for me. You use me. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to trust you again. You get off if you like, I can manage. I'm quite capable of doing a full day's work, you know. Yeah, I know that. I just... Hi, Chris. Hi, I wanted to see how you're getting on. Oh, everything's under control. Contrary to popular opinion, I am not a gibbering wreck. What can I get you, Chris? Actually, I wanted to borrow your boss for a while. Oh? Yeah, there's something I want to show you. Sounds intriguing. I thought you were working through. I was, but I've had a better offer. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll be outside. You don't mind, do you? He did say I should get away early. Yeah, but not with him. And what difference does that make? Well, have you asked yourself why he's been hanging around so much lately? Yeah, he cares about me. Oh, yeah. He's being very supportive. Well, let's see how supportive he is when the trial's over, shall we? Oh, meaning? Meaning that your evidence could put Kim away for a long time and there's nothing that he would like better. Oh, come on, don't be so ridiculous. Well, do you want to give me a better reason? I already have. He's been kind to me, that's all. I know Chris. He isn't the monster people think he is. You know, what Chris and I do is quite frankly none of your business, and I'd rather you kept your opinions to yourself, Biff. Are you all right? I've been dead worried about you. Got a guilty conscience, have you? Drinks are on me tonight, girls. 20 quid here. That's all you care about, innit, money? It's that that got me into this mess in the first place. What are you on about, Mandela? Why don't you ask Lisa? And while you're at it, ask her how she'd feel if a pervert fancied her. You what? Butch! You knew what he was like and you still let me marry him! You make me sick. Both of you! What's going on? No, I ain't said much today, Butch. Oh, I've got things on my mind, sir. Ah, me and all. I bought Becky a box of smellies for Christmas, but I'm not sure I've got right flavour. So what's Santa bringing thee? No. Yeah, they must be getting some it. Not that I really want, Seth. None of us get that. Well, you've got Betty. That's different. What did you get? Hey? Oh, she didn't come in your Christmas stocking, did she? Oh, no. Uh, I used a bit of the old Seth house on charm. Women can't resist that. And that were it? Well, they were me good looks and all, I suppose. I've tried being charming. And I'm not that ugly, am I? What are you driving at, lad? Do you know why I married Monday? Aye. Me and Betty thought it were a rum do. Look, I know what people thought. But I just wanted to look after her if she'd let me. I wanted to like me, Seth. That usually comes a fault wedding. I've tried. I really have. But everything I do just upsets her. Now she's really mad at me. I don't know what to do. Get this in a piece of rumble pie. Then eat it. Aren't you going to give me a clue? A 
told you, it's a surprise. Am I going to like it? I hope so. Dinner for two in a Swiss restaurant? No. Nope. Maybe next time. OK, you're going to buy me a fabulous present. You're getting warmer. It is something I'm thinking about buying. Oh, Chris, come on, tell me. Well, you're about to find out. Here we are. A haulage business? Are you serious? Well, it's going cheap. What do you think? When you found out, why didn't you tell me? I didn't see the point. Like I said to Mandy, he told me he could control himself. Well, he's famous for that, isn't he, our butch? Well, I, I thought he'd get the message once he found out Mandy wasn't interested. But seemingly, he didn't. You know what it's like where women are concerned? Yes, I do. That's why I didn't want them to get wed in the first place. Do you remember? That was for the family, for the home. We didn't have any choice. They were asking too much of the lad. All right, Lisa. I got it wrong. But I thought I could trust him. He knew the score. He knew what was at stake. Well, what are we going to do about it? Things have got to be put right. How? He's let me down. Brought shame on the dingles. I'm going to teach him a lesson he'll never forget. Doing very well at the moment. That's why it's going cheaper. Isn't it a risk taking on a failing business? It's a potential gold mine. The guy who has it doesn't have a clue. I can turn it around in six months. So you're definitely going to buy it? No, but I'm thinking about it. And I'd value your opinion. Why me? Because you know me as well as anyone. And I can rely on you to tell me the truth. I think it's a great idea. Making a, a new life for yourself, getting yourself a business. Something that's your own, something you can build on. But? I don't understand why it has to be haulage, though. That's what Frank did. Wouldn't you rather do something different? I'm not worried about being compared to Dad. Oh, Chris, he casts a very long shadow. Look, I know the haulage business. I know how it works. I've still got a lot of contacts. Sounds to me like your mind's made up. Not quite. Still got a couple of things to check out, but you're right. It does seem like a good time for me to make a new start. In all sorts of ways. If you change your mind about Christmas lunch, you'll have a certain fetish in your company, among others. I mean, as well as eating an old bird, I get to talk with one. No, thanks. Oh, very festive. Who will you be spending Christmas with? I really don't think there's any of your business. <laughs> On your own, I thought as much. What was your Roy like when he was Andy's age? Just like any other normal that way. Oh, I can't fathom Andy at the moment. He's so moody, won't talk to me or Sarah. Oh, Roy will like that. Was he? Yeah, it's part of growing up, Jack. Don't worry about it, mate. I thought you said you were going to take me out for a drink. I'm going nowhere till Butch gets home. Well, we don't know what time that's going to be. Oh, come on, Zach. It'll do you good to get out. Lisa, I'm staying here. Bit old. Please, uh, like a drink, Betty. Oh, what? Seth, you don't mind if I do. Thanks very much. I expect you'll be running out of beer money soon, won't you? How do you mean? When Home Farm sold, you could find yourself out of a job. Now, Chris Day's gonna buy it. No will change. You mark my words. Right, sup up. I'll get you another one. Oh, no thanks, Ned. I'd best be getting back. Hooky duck. Hey, uh, word of advice. Go on. Young Andy. Don't crowd him, Jack. He'll sort himself out. 
Thanks, Andy. Jack been stocking up for Christmas, has he? Yeah. Won't be the best Christmas I've ever had stuck in here. I'll try and get you some more beer. Ah, don't worry about it. Won't be long before we're sat outside a bar in Amsterdam. How do you mean? I'm feeling quite a bit better. I reckon we'll be out of here soon. How soon? Well, it depends. We can't do anything without cash. I'll try and get us some. <laughs> we'll need more than what's in your savings account. No, I could nick some from Jack and Sarah. <laughs> you would have known, wouldn't you? I want to help you. I know you do, but we're going to need quite a bit. We've got to get out of the country, find a place to stay. <sighs> I'll sort some up. What are you going to do? I'll think of something, don't you worry. No, Dad, let me. You're still not better. Somebody could see you. I did the right thing coming here. You're a good lad. I knew you'd look after me. Sorry to crawl home at last, did you? Zack, don't. Now stay out of this, Lisa. This is between me and Butch. What is it? You'll find out. No, no Zack, no, Zack. Listen, can't you sit down and talk about this calmly? Great to say. Well, Dad, I'm sorry. What? Do you realise what you've done? The lad can't help how he feels, Zack. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what he said to Paddy. What the heck were you playing at? I was mad, Dad, and it, it just sort of slipped out. <laughs> you haven't got the sense you were born with. What are four going to think of us? They don't think much of us to start with. Don't make excuses for him, Lisa. Look, Dad, I'll, I'll tell Paddy up with a lie about me and Mandy. I'll tell him. Too late for that. But Damage is done. You tell me what to do and I'll do it, Dad, I promise. I want you to get out of this house. Eh? You heard. From this moment on, you are no son of mine. But, Zach, you can't. Yes, I can. Please, Dad. Get out. I said get out! And don't come back! <laughs> 